Kenya hosted the first UN Habitat Assembly in Nairobi between the 27th and 31st of May 2019. The inaugural assembly focused on innovation for better quality of life in cities and communities with a sub-theme aimed to accelerate implementation of the new urban agenda toward achievement of the sustainable development goals. Pulling together over 3,000 international delegates and local stakeholders, the summit was expected to make decisions and pass resolutions that would frame the global urbanization agenda, track the progress of, and advise on the implementation of the new urban agenda, sustainable development goals, among other related global programs. We need sustainable urbanization to ensure successful and long-term development. Therefore, understanding the key trend in urbanization and how it will likely unfold is crucial to the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. It will also help reduce poverty and inequalities in cities and communities. The world needs to leverage innovations to improve living conditions in cities. Our work must be transformational and groundbreaking. This is why the theme of this first assembly is about innovation. I wish to assure you that Kenya will remain committed to supporting UN Habitat and its activities. As host to UN Habitat, Kenya has supported the preparations of this meeting in cash and kind, and we shall continue to provide assistance whenever we are in a position to do so. In addition to this, I commit that my government will increase its contribution to UN Habitat and Human Settlements Foundation gains account during our next annual contribution. Kenya will also participate in the pledging session where we will consider additional contributions. Prior to the Congress, a public dialogue was convened at the University of Nairobi on the 24th of May 2019 in the build-up to provide a forum for exchange of innovations and best practices that would inspire innovative citizens' engagement patterns in urban governance and management landscape in Kenya and particularly in supporting delivery of affordable housing being part of the Big Four agenda. We're here um, in this uh, public dialogue uh, trying to uh, work with different partnerships to realize what the citizens' innovation can contribute uh, precisely to matters around uh, the new urban agenda, which basically speaks to social inclusive cities. We are involved in research. Number two, we are involved in training of built environment professionals, engineers, architects, planners, and designers. Who, who, who basically uh, are trained to address uh, housing provision in this country. At the policy level, we are providing support to the government on best practices in different aspects of housing, financing, uh, community participation, uh, energy, uh, and so on. At a more practical level, we are discussing with the government on how to implement some key projects. We have a piece of land in Mawoko and we are negotiating with government uh, with the idea of uh, developing between 6,000 and 8,000 uh, housing units. The public lecture helped to shape the UN Habitat Assembly discourse on two major issues, 
Firstly, it rallied the call to leave no one behind in urban developments. And secondly, it drew more attention to interconnectivity of housing, infrastructure, livelihoods and culture, among other social elements. The principle, leave no one and no space behind, as celebrated in the popular version of the Kenya National Urbanization Plan, is a critical factor for the implementation of the new urban agenda and public-private participation in the decision-making process is a key for the realization of this principle and sustainable urban settlement. Kenya domesticated the new urban agenda through the launch of a national implementation plan in May of 2017. Since then, we have made significant progress in implementing policies and actions under this agenda. And sincerely, we have to be the first. Because if we are saying that we are hosting Madame Wuyum Baibuina and her UN habitat here in Nairobi, and then you are following others, that narrative will not be good. So anything to do with the urban agenda, we need to have the first, because we have the domicile. The administration is also running on a four-point agenda that speaks to the urban space and population's development. If you have to do one million houses, it will be 2.6 trillion shillings, which of course in our budget we don't have. <coughs> but that money is lying in banks. You have seen banks publishing their public you know, statements. Billions and trillions of shillings lying idle in those balance sheets. They need to be motivated, they need to be activated. We need to leverage on those balance sheets to make sure that that money gets into where it's required. And yeah, that is the housing sector. And we believe therefore that um, if we're able to harness sufficiently uh, from the citizens innovation, uh, we have seen instances under CSUDP, we have worked quite a bit with uh, primary housing cooperative models where citizens of uh, lower income uh, values such as uh, border border riders, uh, market traders, they get together, uh, get into a culture of savings and they're able to therefore progressively work towards uh, own home ownership. And, and some of these successes are giving us quite a bit of uh, encouragement that uh, citizens themselves have the potential and indeed they have the will uh, to be part and parcel of uh, this delivery plan. My problem is and my concern, how do we, what, uh, what, what uh, policy or arrangement does the government have that it can, we can have continuity? Even with the regime, the other regime that will come on board, what my other concern is that let it not be on paper because a very good program, let it not be on paper, right? We want to see the deliverables, it being implemented. Public the dialogue public dialogue that preceded the UN Habitat, habitat inaugural, inaugural Assembly, assembly was, organized was organized through the cooperation of the National, National Habitat, habitat Committee, Committee, Civil Society, Civil Society Urban, Urban Development, Development Platform, Platform, the University, University of Nairobi, Nairobi Center, Center for, for Urban Research, research and Innovations, Uraia yeah, Trust, Kenya, Kenya Alliance of Residents Association, Kenya Alliance the United of Nations Major Group for Children, in and collaboration in with, collaboration the, UN with the UN Habitat. Thank mm -hmm. you.